Welcome to the Twilight Saga podcast. Hey, I'm Wick Godfrey, the producer. Hey, I'm Rob Pattinson, the actor. <laughs> I'm Bryce Dallas Howard, I play Victoria. I'm Xavier Samuel, I play Riley. I'm Dakota Fanny, I play Jane. What is it you love about playing Jane? Yeah, you know, tell us about Jane. That's a, such a restrained character yeah. in some ways. Yeah. There's not a, there's not as much room for like explosive behavior, and yet you've got these guys, you know, who are six feet nine beside you and older <laughs> than you, and yet you're He's in the center. Tall. Center <laughs> control. What do you try to channel to try to create that aura of control? Because yeah. you do it visually, which is amazing. Yeah, because you're the youngest one out there. For me, I mean, I, I kind of I kind of understand because I'm kind of sitting there behind the camera and and seeing how it works, but just for an audience, you're this little diminutive person and these giant people, yet yeah, you're the scariest. Yeah. 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 You are yeah. the scariest. Yeah. And I kind of think I know what it is, but what, what, do you, what, what is I it? Talent. <laughs> I know what it is. Well, is talent. Know. Yeah. What, it is. Yeah, what is it about Jane that you like playing? I love, well, I think especially in this one, I've been saying like in New Moon, establishing the character and the drama of the surroundings and the drama of the character. And in this one, I think it kind of went back to like Jane is, I mean, She's not a human being, but like as a human being, like the 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 rivalry between her and Bella, and the and like I don't, it's it's hard to describe for me. But in this one, she has like more words to say, and you see like more of who she is mm. and like her personality, kind of. And I liked mm. getting to explore that because as opposed to in New Moon, it was just you know two words that right. I had to say, <laughs> or you know three words. And yeah. in this one, you kind of got to see kind of who she is and like her biting sarcasm and on all of that and I the like contempt, getting to explore like, that and the contempt, and the contempt comes out, yeah so, totally well, but it really does seem like you you've got something special against Bella and I and I kind of wonder like what that yeah. what that is like you kind of hate the Collins but you really hate her I and, know. It, and it does I think tap into that kind of I feel like teenage girl thing of like a competitor for like you yeah, know. Yeah, I mean she's the only one she can't like. It's like Mean Girls. Use her with on. <laughs> what I loved was the stillness. She, I, what I noticed about, and I, and I didn't ever mention it to you because you just kept doing it wonderfully, <laughs> was just, just still. It would, yeah. everyone, everybody else, you know, they were shifting a little bit. You know, uh, Daniel was always kind of moving a little bit like this, and you know, and, and when but you were but, but, but you were still, almost meditatively still. And to me, that was just captivating. It's you know, like it, a snake. Yeah, yeah. yeah. it is. Yeah, it's yeah, like exactly. a snake Poised. about to just like, <laughs> like yeah. that. <laughs> you know. And there, yeah, the, you know, any movement would just come slightly from the head, and that was it. It was mm. like nothing from here, but it I just gave every it was the coat. <laughs> it was the coat. <laughs> it was the coat. It was the coat. It was the coat. Her wardrobe is too heavy to me. <laughs> but it just made you kind. It just 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 grabs your attention. Why? Oh, you just made you go. <laughs> you kind of. Waiting for something to happen, and that's what kept kept the character and in, in, in the suspension of this tension that grew. And I love that about mm -hmm. about what you did. Thank you. I mean, the great thing about these movies mm -hmm. and Stephanie's books is that the mythology is constantly expanding. And I think for this and the newborns, we get in a weird way. It's really about Bella, what she's going to become when yeah. she turns. Yeah. Yeah. Is she going to be as wild and out of control yeah. as? This guy, you know, yes. and, and I think that's that's important. And in some ways, like there, I think there are comparisons between Riley and Jasper as well, because he mm -hmm. essentially, you know, Jasper was manipulated in the same fashion, but mm -hmm. he he managed to kind of, um, you know, not get attacked by a wolf. Okay. <laughs> also, that threat of of that the Collins are being faced with vampires. Period. Okay, that's scary, but being faced against vampires who they cannot beat. They cannot physically beat these mm -hmm. vampires. They are more powerful than anything they could ever imagine. Is And then, of course, to layer on top of that, the Volturi, it's, it's terrifying. They're mm. in a terrifying scenario, and that's what makes the alliance between the Wolves and the Collins, or that potential alliance, mm. um, so, so, so critical. And that, for me, just in, in reading, reading the books, that's the thing that I that I wanted to, to see the most was obviously that battle that, mm -hmm. that happens at the end of the film mm -hmm. and, um, and see what that a massacre alive. in the end, I think, it came down to. Yeah, it is a massacre. Yeah. 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 <laughs> it was a bit of a massacre in the end, yeah. Uh, which it kind of is in the book, in a way. Mm -hmm. I love that yeah. great, that warlike shot of the camera kind of moves in just as yeah. they're both like, yeah, yeah. It's, like, it's like a kind of medieval battle yeah. all of a sudden, you know. Yeah. So cool.